Hello Gemini, welcome to Brutal True Tarot and this reading is from 19th of January to 25th of January. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Gemini. Queen of Grails, the Fool, the Lovers, Judgment, and Two of Scepters. Okay, Queen of Grails. Somebody feels like. Uh, Gemini, you are busy in your own life. This person feels like you have got a lot to explore. You have got a lot to enjoy in your life. This person feels that um, you are really loved by your family and friends. And um, this person also feels like that um, you have got some dreams. And... Um, you are not hesitating um, in chasing those dreams. This person knows that um, things are actually working for you. This person feels like you are on another page. I'm not talking about love here. This person feels like apart from love, everything is different for you too. Definitely this person feels like whatever they give you, they get it back. You reciprocate their love well. In fact, um, they get more than what they deserve. That is what they feel at this point. But apart from this connection, this person feels that there is so much difference between you two. Um, there could be something um, so different about you two. And this person feels that, um, you know, it's tough to be on the same page. This person is hesitating. I feel like this person is thinking of commitment. Okay, Gemini, this person is definitely thinking about commitment. Because, uh, finally, with these two of scepters, I feel that this person is ready to take the challenge. This could also be about a long distance relationship. This person feels like uh, you two have got different uh, approach towards life. This person feels like you are also focused on dreams. You know, this relationship is not something um, that you are completely focused on. This person knows that they cannot ask for all of your space. They know that you have got your own life too, but at the same time, they are afraid that this distance is going to change something. That this distance will make it tough for both of you to, uh, you know, continue this love story. Because with this card of lovers, I see that you are too much into each other. I see that this person is feeling that uh, you are close to them always. Even if it is a long distance relationship, this person feels like um, your energies are with them and uh, they can feel you. But at the same time, this person is also afraid of judgment. They feel that um, maybe you will judge them for something. Or maybe they are not good enough for you. It's like they have um, set some kind of bar. Uh, that I will have to do this if I want uh, Gemini with me. Or Gemini will at least expect this from me. This person is afraid of uh, some kind of uh, future that they cannot see. So in spite of uh, you saying nothing. This person is imagining things like you would say this, you would say that if they 
give you commitment or if they think about starting a future video. Also, we have the fool here. I think with the fool, you know, this uh, fear will not be there for so long. Because this person is not someone who is afraid of expressing themselves. I don't see that. This person is feared. No matter how many challenges are there, no matter how tough things are getting or looking, they are still going to find a way. They are still going to make it work somehow. And um, with the fool, this person is definitely going to um, follow their heart. Because this person is tired of thinking and thinking and thinking. This person is tired of uh, predicting something uh, that is not uh, happening at that point. This person wants to see if their fears are real. It's like, now I'm done. I will go ahead. I will tell Gemini whatever I feel like. And then I would see how they react. Instead of um, wondering, instead of... Uh, thinking constantly, it's better to uh, act and see the reaction. That is what they're going to do in this week. However, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you, Gemini. Three of Grails. The Emperor, Eight of Knives, Four of Grails, and Nine of Skulls. We have the Three of Grails. This person is feeling that uh, you may not take them seriously. This person is feeling that... Um, you may judge them because of some kind of past or because what they did to you. This person is afraid that uh, you are going to be this emperor. By this emperor, I mean you are going to be um, strong. You are going to stand for yourself. You are going to draw the boundaries. And this is something this person is scared of. Because then, um, they will have to change a lot. With this Eight of Knives, here we have this devil. This person is feeling like to be with you. They will have to transform themselves. Seems like this person is also feeling that um, adapting your ways or um, being in your life. Being in a relationship with you will take a lot of effort. There is something that they will have to um, control. Here you see this devil. This devil has been changed. Uh, sorry, this devil has been changed to, um, you know, be in control. So I think this is what this person is thinking about. They feel like if they change a lot about themselves they won't be themselves or they won't have this freedom to do something or they all they might have this fear that they will get judged because of this devil side we have this four of grails here this could be really tough for your gemini you may feel like this person is draining you especially with this nine of skulls you may feel like something is happening, but at a certain cost. You may feel like this person has got something that you will have to deal with all your life. This person may make you feel like you are tired, you are done, again and again. And um, with this nine of skulls, you may feel like everything is happening according to you. You are manifesting whatever you wanted, but at the same time, you are paying the price. So, this could be really complicated for you guys. Let's check an oracle message for you. Intuition. You hold answers. You know the truths. 
Ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind. So here this card is telling you that you have all the answers. You know all the truths. And uh, that's because you have got a lot of wisdom. Your soul has gathered a lot of wisdom over years. And um, this is time to use that wisdom. You know what is right and what is not. Intuitively, you are being guided. So do not uh, ignore your intuition. So this was a reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.